The young 23-year-old from Tatana and Koyari in the central province and the autonomous region of Bougainville began his short but impressive rugby league career in 2014. He was selected into the Hunters 2014-2015 train on squad from the Southern Confederate team. He was the youngest to make the squad at only 19 years of age and debuted as Hunter number 29. A former volleyball representative, his tall, lanky physique proved to be trouble for his opposition on the field as he hurtled towards their defense. He represented PNG in the 2015 Pacific Games, playing in the ninth competition and winning a much-deserved gold. At the end of his 2015 season, Otio signed a one-year contract with NRL club Canberra Raiders. He became an instant star in 2016 with Raiders feeder club, the Mounties, in the New South Wales Cup, scoring in almost every match he played in, ending himself another year with the team. He made his debut for the PNG Kumuls in 2015 during the Pacific Test as Kumul number 269, playing in almost every Kumuls match since then. His 2017 season was clouded with injuries and he spent half the year in rehabilitation, recovering from a knee injury. He recovered in time to play in the Rugby League World Cup where he was outstanding for the Kumuls. He was set to join the Witness Vikings this year and was to leave for England on Thursday. It is a trip he won't be making. Papua New Guinea Rugby Football League was crushed at Otio's passing. And the PNG RFL and the uh, his teammates here at the SP Antis, uh, uh, went down to visit the family and grief with them this morning and uh, the body was released uh, to the PNG RFL. The, we've taken the body, delivered it to a funeral home this morning uh, at about 10.30. Uh, one of our best players in the country, uh, Lake Kato, I think uh, you know, I worked with him uh, since 2015, so. Yeah, uh, you know, he decided to come and join us. Uh, he called me, he made a phone call to me Sunday afternoon, said, coach, uh, what are the boys doing? Can I come and uh, do some running with them? So he said, uh, yeah, we were training and I asked him what time he was leaving. So, but anyway, he turned up and you know he made arrangements with his old uh, Kumul uh, playmates and uh, and I asked him whether he was going to join us at the field or he would prefer to run on the road. But he, he chose to go with his mates. So. But yeah, so and then and then and then after we finished, he found out that he was. Uh, at the hospital. And Coach Michael Maron spent the past three years with Otio and has played a major role in his success. Maron says Otio will always be remembered for his humility and consistency to training. Professionalism and teamship. He, he was a team player, very humble. Haven't had, had any issue with him at all. So. Uh, one full season and even with the Raiders down there. So. Yeah. Marum has suspended the Hunters' preseason training for an indefinite period till the team can be focused and ready for preparations. Otto's cause of death is still unknown and will be confirmed by medical staff at a later date. We have not been advised of uh, the particulars surrounding his death. We, we just know the stories. So until we read uh, the confirmed reports from the doctors, uh, we will advise also. From now, all we would ask is uh, for understanding if the, the family is grieving and respect their privacy and once we get the details both on the details on Kato's death and the funeral arrangements we will make that available. Elijah Vett, National MTV News.